Hey guys, Captain Rush here with Local Knowledge. And today I want to talk to you about cleaning cobia. Cobia are probably one of the tougher fish to clean for a number of reasons. The first being they're extremely slimy. The second is, if you could see, they're not a flat fish. They don't lay flat. They're rounded and it's just not an easy surface to work with. So hopefully today I can show you a few tricks that I use to help you guys clean cobia. So the first thing I like to do is remove the head of the fish from the body. It's just easier to work with. I like to start by grabbing this peck fin right here. This gives me a handle as I'm removing the head. We're just gonna take our nice 45 here, cut down towards the pecs. Make sure you get through everything. Roll the fish over, All right? Once again, I have my handle here. I'm supporting the fish. All right, into a nice V right up here at the top. Now for the tricky part. And it helps to have a good base to rest the fish on right here when you remove the head. These fish, you wrestle from the time you hook up to the time you clean them. But as you can see, there's the head. We're just removing it from the body. Now I have a nice clean log to work with. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna remove the fillets from the body. And I'm actually gonna switch blades here to a little thinner blade so I can get right down along the backbone. I started from the top and I made my first cut all along the top of the backbone there. Now we're just gonna work the blade right down the spine. And what I like to do, so Kobe have giant rib cages right here. What I'm doing is I'm working right up above that rib cage so I have less work to do at the end of the process. And there you go. There's our first side removed from the fish. Working all along the backbone here, getting as much meat as possible. And on this side, I like to work from the tail back up. I'm gonna make my cut right there. And as you can see, just outlining the fish right below the dorsal fin, right down those spines. Just working the edge of the knife all down the edge of the fish, the backbone of the fish. See how pretty that is? Okay. We're going to dispose of our car carcass in the proper way so the birds don't get it. Now comes time for the skinning part. What I like to do is cut these fish into thirds. Basically, I'll start with the tail, and I'll cut a third right here, okay? Then I'll come right behind where the rib cage ends, and I'll take another third, all right? So now I have three chunks to work with. And what I like to do, come right down the bloodline, right tight to it, cut down, and then straight across, okay? That leaves you a beautiful loin right there of meat. See how pretty that is? I'm gonna put that off to the side here. And that's where I'm gonna be trimming stuff later. Once again, I'm coming right down the bloodline right there. Going straight across. Another beautiful loin of meat right there. Get rid of the skin. This gets put off to the side. For me, I like to cut that little tail section of meat off. 
It's got a lot of red in it. I just, nothing I want to eat. So we feed that to the crabs. Come over here to this tail section. Boom. Everything's going in a nice clean pile right there. Boom. So this is our big section here. So we're going to take it all the way down, cross, cross. Come up a little bit, there we go. Nice big loin of meat there. Now some people like to take these ribs and smoke them or cook them like little ribs. Bigger fish, you do have a lot of meat in here. So you can see the pile of meat I got just off of, off of one side of this cobia, okay? For my family, a family of four, this is more than we could eat. As you can see, I have a whole nother side here to deal with. And it's basically gonna be the same thing. Cut it into thirds, skin it, trim it up, bag it, take care of your fish. So guys, that's how I clean cobia.